Understanding all the ways of charging your electric car can be quite confusing if you ask me. But the charging from type 2 cable is the most confusing of them all. Well, in this video, I'll be discussing what that cable is, who should buy one, and much more. The video can be quite helpful as if the type 2 charging lifestyle suits you, you can save not just hundreds but thousands of dollars over the years. Right now, charging infrastructure in Australia is still developing but before moving on with the charging infrastructure, let's quickly understand what are the three main types of charging. Now, the first type of charging is with the charger that comes with your car or commonly known as slow charger, trickle charger, granny charger. Well, these chargers usually charge your car at a very slow rate of 3 kilowatt hour or less. Well, in practical terms, you can say you would be able to charge your car from anywhere from like 18 hours to 20 hours, depending on the battery capacity and also the state of charge. Well, this type of charging is suitable if you do not have to drive your car regularly more than let's say 200 kilometers in a day. Now coming to the second type of charging, which is using the wall connector. Now by using the wall connector, you can use single phase or three phase connections. And hence the charge rate for that varies from seven kilowatt hour for phase one to 22 kilowatt hour for phase three connections. And that's the type of connection that I have at home and it is a single phase connection and I use Tesla wall connector. Well, if you want to know more about my experience with the Tesla charger, you can check out my video, which I've created a while back, and that'll give you quite a good insight into what to expect when charging from Tesla wall connector. Now, moving on to the third type of charging, which is public charging. Now, public charging can be further divided into two main types of chargers. The first type of charging is the ultra fast chargers that like Tesla or Porsche or other companies are providing nowadays and they usually are DC chargers and these chargers have capacity to charge your car anywhere from 50 kilowatt hour to let's say 350 kilowatt hour. Now not every car does have the capacity to charge at a rate of 350 kilowatt hours that depends on the make and model of the car and the battery chemistry as well. Now the second type of public charging is the charging stations that use type 2 cables which allows you to use uh, just like your home wall connector single phase charging or triple phase charging. Well, You can also call this type of charger as pre vio cable chargers or bring your own cable uh, in common terms and most of these charging stations there's no cable coming out of the charge box and hence only people who own a type 2 cable would be able to charge on those spots. Now that brings us to the main question of the video. Should you buy a type 2 cable or do you actually even need one? Well, I would say 8 out of 10 cases do not need or will ever use a type 2 cable or even find the need to buy one. But saying that, I do own a Type 2 cable and uh, I'll tell you later in the video of why I bought it and knowing what I know right now, would I still buy it? Now let's discuss why knowing all about these charging options can be a difference between you making the right choice of what kind of charger do you need to buy when buying an electric vehicle. Especially since companies like Tesla have stopped providing a wall connector or a trickle charger or mobile connection charger with their cars which means while buying the car, you need to choose what type of charging lifestyle suits you. Now, let's look at what exactly is the Type 2 cable. In simple terms, it's a standard connector for electric uh, vehicle charging, especially here in Australia or all across Europe. This cable have seven pin design, which supports both single phase and three phase charging. So depending on if it's a single phase, you might not have all the pins on your charger active, but if you have a seven pin connection, which means your cable is supporting all the bandwidth of the cable, which is 22 kilowatt hours. Well, there could be multiple benefits of these type two cables, depending on your particular scenarios, of course. The first benefit is if you have a charger near your home or at your workplace, 
and it supports the type 2 cable they're most likely they're not as busy as the ccs charges because in these cases you have to bring your own cable but saying that at some places type 2 charging or bringing your own cable uh, type of charging is free of cost as well which means if you own a type 2 cable and if you have a routine that allows you to visit those places then you would be able to leverage your type 2 cable and technically you can pay off your uh, type 2 cable as well as save money while charging which just piles on the already saving that you do uh, of not having to fuel your car with but saying that nine out of ten times it is very unlikely that firstly you have a free charger near your home or your workplace and the other thing is it might not be as practical as you might think because assuming even if your car charges at the rate of 22 kilowatt hour let's take the best scenario and you go to the place where you want to charge your car if your car is let's assume 60 kilowatt hour capacity you would have to stay there for at least three hours and that's considering that your car would not dip down the charge limit of 22 kilowatt hours which is not a practical scenario because usually when your car is low in the state of charge it uses the higher capacity of the charging cable but as the charge starts to reach towards a higher capacity the charge rate starts to fluctuate and usually reduces which means that if your workplace does have such a charger amazing or if you live near a place where you can literally park the car put it on charging and go back to your work or your life then yeah it makes sense and this it's a no-brainer that you should invest in buying a type 2 cable but looking at more practical uh, benefit which would be the second benefit of owning such a cable that would have to do with while you are traveling especially interstate or long distance travels and they can be type 2 chargers in the way that uh, you are planning to go and if you're not keen on waiting for all the other type of chargers like ccs especially in holiday season those chargers can get busy it might be a good idea to invest in such cables like type 2 cable and other means of charging including a mobile charger if you don't own one but this brings me back to the point I mentioned earlier that the infrastructure of charges supporting type 2 cable in Australia is very very limited and until unless you have access to those type of charges where you're planning to go it would not make sense to invest in type 2 cable for example one of my known people was suggested to buy a type 2 cable as means of charging the car from their dealership and through his contacts which he was in contact with uh, regarding planning to go visit a countryside town in New South Wales and he casually asked me what uh, type of cable do I use for charging and what are my recommendations around it. Then I did a quick research on uh, the type 2 cable charges available in the area that my friend was planning to actually visit and uh, there were no type 2 charges available at all within 300 kilometers of proximity from where he intended to go but there were still DC fast chargers still available and hence my suggestion to him was just carry your mobile charger for backup and plan your trip so you're not going in for longer than 300 kilometers in a row and you just take a stop where you would be able to charge and if possible have a place or book accommodation where you would be able to charge your car overnight and that should allow you to trickle charge your car and you know be ready for the next day and just call and confirm with your accommodation that you would have access to outlets and that way you can be sure that you would not be stranded the next day without a charged car we have one of the best resources that we can use in australia which is plugshare app where it would be marked where the charges are type 2 and hence you can prepare for your lifestyle as well as if you're going on a road trip then journey could be even better planned so if you want me to give that short answer of when do you need a type 2 cable or should you buy one i would recommend only buy a type 2 cable if you would be able to offset the cost of the type 2 cable and if it allows you to either travel with less stress Given, given that you have charged places for type 2 cable on the route of your destinations and otherwise it is something which 
you might be able to skip on. Before I talk about alternatives of buying the Type 2 cable, uh, let me talk about the scenario which led me to buy a Type 2 cable. While I was driving to work, my parking spot actually introduced eight lanes of charges which supported Type 2 cable. So I decided to pick up a Type 2 cable. Now, there are multiple ways you can buy the Type 2 cable, even websites like your Tesla website would sell it, or even your local hardware store like Bunnings would have Type 2 cables. But there are certain brands as well which just makes EV stuff and they are selling those Type 2 cables as well. So if you want to buy a Type 2 cable, there's heaps of options available. But, but as I said, I would buy it only if I'm able to offset the cost of buying the Type 2 cable, which I was. Like within three months, I was able to cover the cost of the Type 2 cable just by charging at my workplace. Funny enough, there are certain alternatives which would allow you to take benefit of the Type 2 cable infrastructure all over the country as well as use it as a option to charge at home. As I think there are one or more combinations and options which you can consider. If you're keen on buying a Type 2 cable as well as you are looking to get a wall box charger that does support a Type 2 cable, which means you would be able to take your cable with you if you're going on a road trip or if you have access to let's say type 2 cable at your workplace you just need to unplug from your home outlet and just take the cable with you and hence unless you are certain about getting a tesla wall charger or something similar where the cable is integrated with the charger then maybe it's worth exploring those options with the detachable cable so to conclude and summarize whether a type 2 cable is necessary is entirely based on your charging habits along with the charger opportunities or charging opportunities in your daily routine so i would highly encourage you to think about your personal charging needs and habits before investing in a type 2 cable hope i was able to alleviate some of your concerns and give you some information about charging your car in a efficient way which allows you to save money either by charging your car for free or by saving some money for not having to buy this type 2 cable and for all my subscribers, I want to thank you again for all your support that allowed me to reach this amazing goal of 500 plus subscribers. And I would also like to add that if you want to support me or my journey or this channel, then you can join membership for my channel. The links for that would be uh, underneath this video as well as in the description. And I appreciate everyone who's made it this far in this video. And if you think you would be buying a type 2 cable then please let me know in the comments that why that's the case and if you have any other questions or queries regarding charging in general or especially for type 2 cable charging feel free to reach out in comments as well and or if you have any other suggestions for me on my channel i would highly appreciate you just letting me know via comments as well that what we can improve all I want to do is provide you with uh, the best value content and that can help you make better decisions while buying your next car or next electric car, hopefully. But until then, have a good day or good night, depending on wherever and whenever you're watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one.